Do you also get confused prescribing exercises to your patient after confirmed diagnosis? Don't worry, I am here to teach you all fit principle using which you can easily prescribe exercises to the patient and that will be very effective on them as well as it will be very easy to document the progress of the patient. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is me Physio Prem Shah, MPT, Ortho and Sports and this video is all about fit principle. So let's start with fit principle. F here stands for frequency. So frequency over here we decide that how many days in a week we want to give exercise to the patient. Not only this but in this days of exercises how many days we want to give for strength training, how many days we want to focus for flexibility, how many days we want to focus for endurance, everything we are going to decide in this frequency component of the fit principle. So this is decided on the basis of patient's current situation like patient requires more of endurance activities, patient requires more of the strength activities or patient requires more of the flexibility activities. Next component in the fit principle is I which stands for intensity and intensity here determines that for how much intensity we are going to give exercise to the patient. For example, we want to increase the endurance, we want to increase the aerobic capacity of the patient, then we are going to use maximum heart rate component for this particular exercises. Like next question can be that how to calculate maximum heart rate. So for that we have easy formula which is 220 minus age of the patient. So let's say that patient's age is 30 years then 220 minus 30 becomes 190 and for acute conditions normally we give exercises with 50 to 55 percentage of maximum heart rate. So maximum heart rate was 190 then 50 to 55 percentage of that can be somewhere around 100 uh, heart rate. So with that will be the uh, ideal heart rate to give exercises in the acute stage and if the patient is healthy and wants to increase more aerobic capacity then maximum heart rate can be kept to 70 to 75 percentage of it. So let's say in the same example this will be somewhere around 150 to 155 on the basis of the calculation which I just told you. Not only this that if I want to increase strength for the patient for strength also intensity has to be increased gradually and that can be determined with the help of one repetition maximum or 10 repetition maximum. One repetition maximum mainly is something that amount of weight a patient or person is able to lift for one repetition that will be one repetition maximum. So here the weight will be more because that patient has to perform only for the one repetition. 10 repetition maximum which means that person is able to lift that particular weight for continuous 10 repetition. So mostly 1 repetition maximum is used for power and 10 repetition maximum is used for strength and endurance. So here first we will check for particular muscle which we want to strengthen up then after checking this 1 RM and 10 RM we will start with the repetition like minimum repetitions can be 12 to 15 once patient is comfortable doing this 12 to 15 repetitions with the same weight we have to increase the repetition up to 20 22 once patients are comfortable performing this 20 22 repetitions with the same weight then we can gradually increase the weight and then we can again come back to the same repetitions which will be 10 to 15 and then again after increasing the repetitions we will increase the weight so here what i am trying to say is that first we work on the repetition we increase the repetition for the intensity once patient accommodated with that then we increase the weight and come back to the normal range of the repetition. So this is how the intensity of strength activities can be increased for the individual. The next component in the fit principle is time. So time here determined by how much time you are going to give for specific exercises. For example, a person has to do aerobic exercises for weight loss. The minimum duration for that is considered as 20 minutes. So we are giving that patient for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes that we have to determine it while prescribing the exercises to that particular person. Not only that, if you are training for anaerobic activities, 10 minutes of fast activity is also sufficient. So that much time will be given to that particular activity for that patient. So these are the examples how we can use time in this exercise prescription. And the last component in fit principle is type of activity. So this type of activity can be considered in one way which is like endurance activity, strength activity, power activity or we can also say aerobic, anaerobic or power activity. Another way we can say that it can be concentric contraction, eccentric contraction, isometric contraction or isokinetic contractions of the muscle. We all know that what is the importance of isometric, concentric, eccentric and isokinetic muscle activities. Same way what is the importance of endurance, strength and power activity 
facilities so depending on what patient requires at this particular of time that type of activities that types of muscle contraction we will prescribe for the patient so i hope that you have understood that fit principle and how to use this fit principle for is prescribing exercises for your patients if this content for fit principle was useful for you please let me know in the comment section and also don't forget to like and subscribe to physio trends and if you have any doubts about it please let me know in the comment section i will be happy to reply you all for the same